Hello and welcome to this recording of a conversation with our Digital Placemaking Fellows, in which we'll be sharing with you some of the ideas and the currents that have been shaping our work as we try to think in new ways about the relationships between digital and physical places. My name's John Dovey and I'm a professor of screen media at UE Bristol, but I'm also the director of Bristol and Bath Creative R&D which is one of nine projects supported by our very good friends at the Arts and Humanities Research Council that are intended to support the development of the creative industries in different regions and networks across the UK. Our programme brings together the critical and creative resources of the four universities in the Bath, Bristol City region with Watershed's expertise in creative networks to coordinate research, production and publication on a range of themes that we hope will create the conditions for future development of the creative industries in our cluster. We chose digital placemaking as our first theme. What does this mean? Well, one of the impacts of digital technologies is a change in the way that we use place. Take a look at the apps on your smartphone and think about how many of them use your location as part of the application. This ability to remap our everyday lives for a variety of purposes is creating a whole new geospatial data layer that gets used for all kinds of purposes. On an everyday level, our relationship to meetings and events in the cities all becomes far more fluid as we make more and more decisions on the fly, depending on our information outputs. Places can now be augmented with information or with music or now with images using mobile AR. Cities can become game spaces or theatres. The fabric of the city could start to reveal the histories under our feet. But these technologies give us new ways to use the city. They also begin to shape the way that cities use us. The data flows for traffic management, environmental data, security and policing all feed into the idea of the smart city a place where all the data that we produce is used to make the city more manageable or more efficient. Of course, this is a utopian fallacy. We all know that cities are places where civilization is built out of difference, out of different kinds of people and activities learning to coexist. So as a starting point for our research, we adapted a definition from the Bristol company Calvium, who have developed the idea of digital placemaking in their work. Digital placemaking, we said, aims to enhance and deepen the relationship between people and places. We believe the best examples of digital placemaking are co-designed by different kinds of communities using digital technology and creative solutions to improve or enhance the public experience of place. So we wanted to find a group of people who could reframe this approach to the 21st century city and will be able to bring a creative and a critical focus to thinking about the ways that the work of digital placemaking could and should be developed. So I'm I'm going to introduce you to these great people and then we're going to have a conversation about the way that we've been uh, approaching that reframing task. Sean, could you just say a bit, could you just introduce yourself? My name's Sean Sobers. I'm an Associate Professor at the University of West of England of Cultural Interdisciplinary Practice and my research is based primarily in Bath at the former residence of Halle Selassie, a place called Fairfield House. Hi, yeah, so I'm Paul, Paul Clark, and uh, I'm a senior lecturer in theatre and performance studies at University of Bristol, uh, and I'm one of the academic fellows on the Digital Placemaking Pathfinder, uh, and I work with a theatre company, a performance company called Uninvited Guests, who've been exploring um, performance and technologies and participation um, for a number of years, and uh, as part of my uh, digital placemaking uh, fellowship. I've been exploring developing uh, a toolkit called Future Places Toolkit, um, which uses AR and performance to encourage people to imagine better futures for their places. 
Hi, yeah. Um, my name is Rosanna Diaz. I'm a creative producer and a curator and facilitator. I'm based in Bristol. Um, I'm really interested in creativity and, and social change with a particular focus on film and digital tech and supporting young creatives. A lot of my work aims to challenge and change the status quo that we see in the cultural sector and in kind of networks of cultural production. So this has been a really exciting process to be a part of as an inclusion fellow. The work that I've been, the research that I've been conducting as part of this programme is around spaces of care for young creatives who are black or POC, people of colour, and um, thinking about the digital and physical elements of that space and behaviours within that space. My name is Grace Contoct, the Anuadi Grace. Uh, I'm based in Wales, but uh, studying in Bristol and Bath. Uh, I am a psychotherapeutic counsellor specialising in working with clients with complex trauma and multiple marginalised and oppressed identities. And I'm also a writer and a non-executive director across health, uh, social care and human rights. And in my fellowship, I've been exploring how we can assess and develop appetite and aptitude for inclusive digital placemaking in those who hold power and influence. I'm Steve Hilton. I have, um, I wear many hats, but I only have one head to put them on. I'm, uh, I run my own business called City Global Futures that has a small presence in both Bristol and in Bath. I'm a fellow of the University of Bristol's um, Digital Futures Institute. Um, but my background is really working for the city. I was a director in the city council for a number of years. So my interest in digital placemaking is very much about the place. It's where, it's where the city and the place and the strategies and the policies and the partnerships and the politics um, fit into this idea of um, technology helping to shape and create the place that we live in. Hi everyone, um, my name is Tim, uh, my pronouns are she and they. Um, I am a mixed media movement and dance creative working in Bristol um, in a variety of mediums, including theatre, film and creative technology. Um, a lot of my work looks at bringing dance to audiences who might have little to no contact with dance and movement before. Um, and I'm also really interested in um, how the physical body can express, communicate and deepen the experience of spoken language and visual performance. So with my fellowship research, I have been looking at the potentials of using dance and movement together with creative technology to create safer spaces for queer people. Hey everyone, it's great to see you guys. Uh, I'm Will Taylor. I am a black male millennial. Um, I'm a creative producer as well. Um, working across film, audio, workshop facilitation, talent development. And my, my research in the digital placemaking path final was all to do around agency and the feeling of belonging in cultural spaces for marginalised communities.